Ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Let's get something straight right away. My name is Ted, and I have tried to meet some of you. I met Sherry, and I met Melody, and I met Janelle, and I met Laurie, and I met Tony, but I'm sorry I don't know everybody yet. Let me tell you that we are going to uh, learn a little bit about having fun through dramatic reading to children and adults. And I want to give you a little bit of background on me. You read a little bit, I think, in the brochure, but let me amplify that a little bit. I have been pleased and invited to present at a number of conferences, whether it's a national conference or a state conference or, or another conference. And I love to do this, and I'm so glad you're here. And I hope some more people come in because I'm a teacher and I like to have fun. And so today, with your help, we are going to have some fun. Some of my background, I've been teaching for a number of years, and I've been teaching in family literacy, the CBET program, community-based English tutoring. I've been teaching at a library for nine years in National City. I've been teaching small groups. Uh, to improve their English and their reading and their pronunciation. I've also been teaching children as well as adults. And so one of my passions is to help adults help children. And so from talking to you, I understand many of you are working at libraries, many of you are tutors, uh, many of you are teachers. Um, did I miss any category? Who are you? Okay. All right. Are there any learners? That's a trick question. Any learners in the room? Oh, yes. Yes, we are together. All right. Me too. Let's talk about something we already know about. Reading is necessary and must be fun. I have at least two stories. Uh, this isn't new to you, but let me just remind you so we get a little bit in the mood here for reading and reading dramatically. When I was in school a long, long time ago, you know, that's how the stories start, a long, long time ago in a place far away, um, I was uh, uh, in elementary school and there was always a story time. 